Hey everyone, so today we will see a second method that will help you to solve surface integral problems. So in the previous lecture we saw that if you have a vector field and a parameterized surface then how to tackle such kind of problems. Today we will see if you have a scalar field and a parameterized surface then how to tackle such kind of problems. Okay, so here there you had if you recall so f was the vector field f dot n the normal vector how did we define double integration over r you parameterize the surface so f of r of uv dot product with n and then du dv so f is nothing but f of r of uv and your n cap ds was nothing but n du dv this is what we had right now when we have a scalar field so as so let me g be a scalar field so this is the notation that you always see g of r da R is what is the parameterization. I have parameterized our surface. Okay. So what this is, this is equal to over R. So now we have G of R. G of R means G of R of UV. Okay. And then this will replace by mod N into du dV. Now here we take mod N because this is a scalar thing. So I can't take a dot product. Here this was a vector. This was a vector. So dot product makes sense here this is a scalar so i can't take dot product with normal vector so we take into mod this is kind of the same thing that you have seen in the line integral when you have a scalar field then have to tackle the line integral if you are not sure about that i will post the link in the description you can see that as well so there also you take mod of r prime of t if you recall in line integral you take mod of r prime of t okay so here you take mod of the normal vector so that's one thing. So this is my normal multiplication, not the dot product. This is modulus. And now since here it is modulus, therefore now there is no question of outward normal or the inward normal. Okay, so here there is, you can say this is integral without regard of orientation. Okay, because we're taking the mod. So it's a value over here. Okay, and that's why you don't write here dot n into n because it's without orientation. I mean, that does not matter over here. So this is the formula to solve a parameterized surface when a scalar field is given to you. Now let's see some example so that this concept will be clear. So here is the first example. This is a scalar field given to you. The surface is a cylinder but it's a part of a cylinder half not the complete cylinder. Y is greater or equal to 0. So kind of parabola you can say paraboloid and the limits of Z are 0 to 4. So as we have seen in our lecture on parameterization what is the limit what is the parameterization it is 4 cos u 4 sin u and v so u will go from 0 to pi not 0 to 2 pi because our y is greater or equal 0 now the same thing you find the normal vector r with respect to u and then r with respect to v then you find the normal vector 4 cos u into i cap plus 4 sin u into j cap plus 0 into k cap if you don't want to write i cap j cap k cap you write in the square bracket then you find g of r of uv so wherever you have x y z you replace by these terms you find the mod of the normal vector which is 4 do the normal multiplication this is what you have now you split this so you know how to solve this integral you put your sin u equal to t sorry you put your cos u equal to t so if i put my let let us put cos u equal to t so what do you get you have minus sin u du equal to dt right so for this one you have double integration v as it is now what will be the limits of t when my u is 0 uh, cos 0 is 1 and when my u is pi cos pi is minus 1 i have 16 minus sin u du so is nothing but dt so e raised to 4t dt and then dv as it is plus 4 integration v du dv and now I think it's solvable, right? Minus 16 will come outside. You know what is the integration over here. And yeah, and this is also easy integration. So your first homework is you have to tell me the answer for this question. So I have done most of the part. So tell me what is the surface integral for this question. Now let's go for the second example. So here is the second problem. So G is the scalar field given to you. G of XY. People usually ignore XY. So this is G of XY is equal to or g of x y z actually g of x y z equal to cos y plus sin x so this is independent of z 
and this is the plane in first octant so x y z all are greater or equal zero okay now obviously it's a plane so you take x equal to u y equal to v so from this relation your z will be 2 minus u minus v so you find the normal vector i j k r with respect to u 1 0 minus 1 r with respect to v 0 1 minus 1 and you find the normal vector you have 1 minus 1 0 and therefore absolute value of normal vector is root of 1 plus 1 which is root 2 Now you have this thing g of r of u v is what? So wherever you have x y z you replace by u v 2 minus u minus v. So cos v plus sin u. And then if you take this so you have this multiplied by mod n. So which is nothing but you have root 2 into cos v plus sin u. Now what will be the limits? So now for limits you have to be careful. So what is the region? So in region. So the region in u v plane is a line. Okay. So what will be the limits for your x and y so for v if you want 0 less equal v what is this this is u plus v equal to 2 so 0 less equal v less equal 2 minus u and limits of v are 0 less equal u less equal 2 so v is from 0 u is from 0 to 2 and v is from 0 to 2 minus u and for this cos v so minus sin v so yeah uh, i think i will stop here i won't do the calculation here this is a doable calculation okay so please solve this question again and uh, tell me what is the answer in the comment section okay uh, now this problem can be solved in one more way that is my type 3 that i will talk about in the next lecture and that's why i have taken this example either you can do by this parameterization type or i will tell you or give you a formula when you have a nice kind of surfaces then you can directly use that formula to solve the surface integral but that we will see in the next lecture now let me give you some homework problems so let me give you only one homework problem but i have written number three over here why because you have to tell me the answer for previous two questions as well so tell me the answer for previous two questions and this is the third one so it's a cylinder it's a scalar field so here you have y so do the parameterization find the normal vector mod of normal vector and uh, tell me the final answer in the comment section so this is the second kind where you can solve surface integral. So if you see a scalar field and you can parameterize the surface, go by this method. So I hope this method is clear to you. If yes, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. If no, then you can ask me whatever doubts you have in the comment section. Thank you.